least a uh, high school diploma and perhaps some additional skills, right? So we're going to try and help you help your son. This man knows the justice system from behind the bench and from behind bars. Just 17 years ago, I was a street gang leader right here on the east side. Judge Greg Mathis routinely removes his judicial robes and shares his life's lessons with young people, such as these at Detroit's Martin Luther King High School. I always blamed everybody else and didn't have a lot of belief in myself or in society. Mathis grew up in one of the city's worst housing projects. He barely knew his father. His mother worked three jobs and died when Greg was a teenager. So you couldn't tell me I could do anything successful in life although I had the ability. At age 17, Mathis was arrested for carrying a gun to school. I went before a judge at the court where I'm a judge at now. And the judge told me that if I went back to school and obtained my GED within six months, he would drop the charges. The road from the classroom to the courtroom took a detour right here at the Wayne County Jail. It's somewhat ironic then that this local lockup where he spent so much time can be seen through the windows of his judge's chambers just down the street. Every day, every day I see me in that courtroom with, those, with some of the young men that come before me. The hopelessness, the despair, the rejection, the, re the alienation, the lack of belief in themselves. How do you support them? If you don't work and you don't have a high school education, it is the order of this court that this case be adjourned for one year to give the defendant an opportunity to acquire his GED. Judge Mathis gives these work. defendants the same choice he was wow. given and offers young black men a chance to save their lives. So ordered. Good luck to you. I agree with you. He was fair with me. Well, uh, I got to go back and get my GED and all that, and take care of my children. Well, I see you turned this life around real big, so uh, I'm proud of that, you know. Hopefully I can do the same, you know. I challenge you, young brothers and sisters, to first prepare yourself for the fight, for the war. Because, yes, you are in a war for your survival. You just heard my statistics. You just heard what the plan is. Prison. Terry Phillips, CBS News, Detroit.